Herculaneum is sometimes referred to as the other Pompeii. In 79 AD, this ancient Roman city was also buried in volcanic ash by the eruption of Mount Vesuvius. But what was found here, with the help of artificial intelligence, could change the way we understand history. Among these ruins, archaeologists found in the 18th century the villa of the father-in-law of Julius Caesar. In it, they found a library with at least 1,800 ancient scrolls with texts in Greek and Latin. Entombed in volcanic ash for hundreds of years, these papyrus scrolls were carbonized but intact. Since then, they have been preserved in this library in Naples. But any attempt to open them turned them into pieces. A puzzle that has kept experts glued to their microscopes for centuries. Now scientists have found a way to unravel the mystery by using artificial intelligence to read the scrolls without opening them. The technology to virtually unwrap ancient scrolls using 3D X-ray has existed for many years, but the ink within was still invisible to the human eye. So in 2023, Brent Seals, a computer scientist at the University of Kentucky, launched the Vesuvius Challenge, a $1 million prize to researchers who could decipher the text on the scans. What among all the scrolls around the world that we found from antiquity, what made you interested specifically or choose specifically the ones from Herculaneum? I realized this is the only extant library from antiquity that survived. It's very unique. And... It's one of the biggest technical challenges that I've ever encountered because the damage is so unique and strange. You know, the carbonization, the archaeology, and the immense time scale that we're talking about. All those things conspire to make it be one of the hardest technical challenges I've, I've imagined. Three students, including a 21-year-old American, found the best solution, and this is the result. Fifteen columns of text in ancient Greek seen for the first time in almost 2,000 years. Gianluca Del Mastro is one of six papyrologists asked to choose the winner. So this is a revolution. For the first time, we are able uh, to see in, uh, in the scrolls uh, completely closed and carbonized from the eruption. Uh, in the past, uh, we were able uh, to, to only imagine what was written in these scrolls. Now is a, uh, is a new world for us. The text of the scrolls described sources of pleasure, including music, the taste of capers, and the color purple, and wonders whether the availability of goods can affect the pleasure they provide. The author answers, as too, in the case of food, we do not right away believe things that are scarce to be absolutely more pleasant than those which are abundant. A question that seemed to have survived the test of time and is relevant today as it was almost 2,000 years ago. The new technology will now help to decipher hundreds of scrolls from Herculaneum and around the world in the hope to finding other philosophical questions and more importantly, answers about our past. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.